Hello, this is a, a, a grubby sheet of black paper. I'm putting different shades on it. I, I was trying to do the background, uh, the background of the, the colours in the sky to, to give the uh, the vague tone of the different areas of the picture first. Now, I really quite like, I like the way that you can sort of build up. The first layer doesn't really do much more than fill in the gaps in the texture of the paper. But the second layer, then you can blend with the chalk. You, you get more subtlety in the chalk colours, and after that, you can just sort of mess with it and uh, and, and start to change it. So I keep my hand still and, and twisting the paper. I can get a slightly better and more accurate shape. And this is the planet that I'm starting to um, colour in. And this is my favourite bit of the picture because I, I really enjoyed the way that there was. Uh, it was clearly there was some colour on the planet, but the. The picture that I was sent doesn't really show it because it's almost entirely in darkness and you've only got this 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 very very narrow area of light a little penumbra on the side where it's reflecting off what I assume is an atmosphere and you've got that yellowish sheen to it it almost looks kind of like it's got some ammonia in that atmosphere so I spent ages tweaking and perfecting and and, and messing around with this sunburst on the side of off the planet because I, I just really enjoyed the way that it looks and, and and then you've got the star behind it and the star behind it is uh, I don't know what it is but it's got that sharp horizontal line that you get which um, suggests that it might be a white dwarf but I don't know I mean it's not got that it didn't have that pink hue but there was a, a drift of a bluish shade on it so I, I've got to assume it was a white dwarf and then there's an awful lot of boulders. So most of this picture is just me drawing boulders. I quite like the experience of being in a in a resource extraction zone. The um, the sort of the inevitability of the appearance of pirates when you first drop in, and and, and steering round the rocks when they try to attack you or go go for you. And often, depending on what ship you're riding in, I suppose. You're either in the mood to go and get them, or you might might scoot away. Uh, when I when I go to a res, I set myself up in a nice place and 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 and, and start flipping through my my scanner to see what what's in the local area, see who's around there, and you, you can you can tell who the wrong ones are because they've just got one name like um, Spite or Chocky or or Andronicus or something very uh, simple like Jeff. I don't know, and you and you can tell who the traders are because they're always called, you know, Roger Valenstein, Derek Portnoy, and and <laughs> and then you've got the names of the NPCs that people have given them, like Eric Poe de Croydon. I don't think he's in there, but you've certainly got. Oh, you've got one out of. I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. Ah, oh, is it called? Oh, I can't remember what that one is, but definitely there is one. Or is it? Yeah, I always smile when I see that one. There's a few of them like that. Oh, and Ivor. Just you not biggin always makes me laugh as well. <laughs> there's there's a bunch of ones that people who kickstarted named, and they always make me smile. The faction I was in, ostensibly uh, ought to be, I'm not functioning as a member of, has uh, got a member who kickstarted, and, and he's in game. And I, <laughs> I think I might have killed him once. Oh, it's quite a few cool NPC names. Is this got a viper in this picture? I reckon. I hate to say it, but I reckon this picture would look nicer without the viper. I, I like a viper, though. Vipers are good. <laughs> I bought one quite early on in playing the game, actually. I, I, I used it as an exploration vessel. Profoundly failed at the game for quite a long while. <laughs> Never mind. But yes, I did uh, explore the bubble inadequately in a viper with a very short jump range without pressing honk because I didn't realise you actually had to activate it and it wasn't passive. <sighs> oh, class. Don't matter. They are really nippy, manoeuvrable little ships, though. They're fantastic little fighters. Anyway, uh, yeah, I I've witted at you for ages now. Sorry. Uh, thank you for watching. I I'll shut up, actually. Bye.